Praise God. Uh, as Pastor said earlier on, I'm glad to see all the faces that who believe that Jesus is alive and yeah. He is real and He is risen. He is the Savior. He is the King of Kings and He is the King of Peace. That's what we need in these days. Amen. Sarah and uh, Ashna, they will be leading in their youth in the church. They will be leading us in worship. Before they start the worship, I would ask Sarah to share about the encounter, about her testimony for a couple of minutes. If you want to hear what uh, God has done in her life. Yeah. Yeah. Amen.
glorify your name, Lord. Welcome you all and greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And also, I bring special greetings from our senior pastor and the Heavenly Feast, Dr. Martin Gurda, and also from the Heavenly Feast team. I want to say a bit about ourselves. Uh, we are it's a revival movement which started in India, say 30 years ago, where we are from. Where a businessman was paralyzed, who got healed. Just one person started the revival. But God used, and as Sarah said, this is the name above every name. Yes. His power is above every power. So this is moved from nations and nations. So people believe, and there's no. Wherever you have to go, say if you have to go in a college, if you have to join a military unit, some qualifications. But to come into this faith or come into Jesus, you don't need any qualification. Just need you. Yeah. Amen. Just be willing to say that, accept it that this is real and take it into your life and this power will move into your life. Amen. Amen. Bless you. Lord. And uh, it's my privilege and I thank Pastor Tom for, you know, giving us or asking us to come here today. And I pray and thank God for all of you that you are here for the reason not for the season. Amen. Amen. The reason is what is the reason? Jesus. Huh? Jesus. Jesus is the reason. Reason and he is real and he is there for me. Amen. Amen. That's the reason. Amen. Amen. We all go to church as Sarah said you can leave us, leave us a Christian or you can live in Christ. Two differences. Saying a Christian is different from a Christian. But to live in Christ is the real Christianity. Amen. Amen. To live in Christ is not very difficult. Just rely on the power of God. Rely on the power of the Holy Spirit. If you read First John chapter 3, the very last verse, that was not my reading today, but it says like this, Amen. And he that keeps his commandments dwells in him. And, and hereby we know that he abides in us by the spirit which he has given us. Amen. Do you believe that God is dwelling in you? How many of you believe that God is dwelling in me? Praise the Lord. Praise God for these hands. When you lift these hands, this is the hand against the devil. You are just telling that I am a child of God. I am sealed with the Holy Spirit of promises. And I am sealed for the day of redemption. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Because I am a child of God. Amen. Amen. How do you know you are a child of God? You know that the Spirit of God dwells in me. As the Bible says. You know that the Spirit of God is in you. And you know that you are a child of God. Amen. People are watching on the Facebook, you are watching online or in this place. You need to you don't need to do anything. Just say wherever you are and say that Jesus, I believe that you have come into this world, you have died for my sins, and you have resurrected on the third day. And as the Bible says, He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I need that Christ in my life. He will come and die with you, with your situations with your troubles, with your sins, with your curses, whatever you are going through, He will come to you. And that's where the peace of God comes from. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. I'm going to read a scripture from the Bible. It's all about peace. The whole nation, the whole world is celebration. So remembrance day today. They are remembering what, you know, their forefathers, what the people have done for our life. So also bring us Christians that what Jesus Christ has done for us in the cross of Calvary. Yes. I was reading more about the Popis and the story behind it, whatever happened is when, when, when the land was distracted with attacks or whatever you call, you know, the, the whole land was gone. But this wee Popi grew up in the midst of all the troubles. Yeah. When they all said the whole land is gone, but there was a light and this poppy came up. I don't know, I forgot the name of the person who wrote that poem. He wrote this poem about the poppy. And that's what he could say, despite of the troubles, despite of the problems, whatever is going through in my life, whatever is happening in my life, there is a hope in Christ. Amen. Amen. That's what this Remembrance Day brings to you that 
the peace of god which passes all human sub human understanding is in me that will keep me right amen, amen. those who are hands you can just say amen, amen. and believe it amen amen, amen. what or we think is a small thing but it can be a very luxury to people other people i have talked to people who are you know disabilities some sort of you know and they said i love to lift my hands i i dream that i can walk one day i dream that i can eat food one day i dream that i can breathe normally so whatever we are having today is luxury to many people amen right amen praise yeah. god so this morning we are not asking for god to do anything new but we are going to thank god for what we are have today yes amen when you realize that a psalms 23 word 6 says like this surely goodness and mercy shall follow all the days of my life one day all the days one week all the days on a sunday no on a monday all the, how many of you really believe that surely goodness and mercy shall follow all the days of my life amen that's what we are here for so we are going to read a scripture what time you finish part 3 bro praise the lord uh john chapter uh, 14 verse 27 uh says like this peace i leave with you my peace i give unto you not as the world gives give unto you okay so peace i leave unto you my peace i give unto you not as the world gives amen so when jesus came to this world whenever he resurrected and he went to the, went to heaven he gave us two things number one is the peace my peace it's not as the peace i believe that if tesco sainsbury's or mark and spencer's they if they sell peace i will say the biggest queue will be there today <coughs> you can see many offers there buy one get one free or buy two but get the third one free but in here god has given you this peace it is a god's peace it is not as the world gives why why the bible says that it is not as the world gives why the worldly pleasure whatever we enjoy in life or whatever you think it is an enjoyment it will not last forever amen for example you know, you're using worldly pleasures you may be thinking oh i go to i go out on a friday have few drinks that settles me no you will enjoy for a bit but that will go after the next day you are to you are to suffer the consequences you will financially you will be lost your body will not be fit for whatever but in this case if jesus comes into your life god gives you his peace despite of your situations are you ready to receive that peace in your life church amen i'll be finishing next five or 10 minutes but god has sent us god has sent us here to tell you that you have to enjoy the peace in your life the, the only way the peace comes to you is through jesus christ amen. amen jesus said i am the way the truth and the life the only way in your life you may be struggling that you may be worrying that no one can help you no one can look into my situations all my doors are closed everyone is against me i cannot sleep but this morning church jesus is knocking at the doors of your heart i'm telling you that i want you are you ready to give your life to jesus are you, are you ready to give your fear to jesus cast all your burdens all your worries all your tensions upon him he will care for you amen amen, amen. thank you for those one beautiful hands you are raising because when you say a word word by faith god will honor you god will attest god will he will stamp on it the first step you are saying by faith by your mouth amen that, that he will honor says my peace i give unto you it is not as the world gives amen sure as sir as we struggled everything she is my daughter we we tried everything everything means everything but when when that day sara had a personal encounter with god that's the day the miracle started amen amen that's the day you know these days 
we can see only very few young generations in the church we are praying for that because people think this is wrong i don't believe that if it is wrong your great grandfather is wrong the forefathers are wrong if because they lifted the name of jesus they believed in you this blessing has followed to the generations amen now we have to pray for these generations we have to pray for these people that everyone should know jesus yeah my my passion is christ but my profession is totally different hey okay. amen i'm not going to say my i work in healthcare service but that's my profession but my passion is jesus amen amen wherever i go i say about jesus wherever i can because he's the only way the truth and the life we tried everything in our life to bring peace we tried everything in your life to get the healing we tried everything in your life to enjoy life but nothing worked and he said nothing worked oh my god but there is something which works yeah. that is jesus how many of you want to take that in your life how many of you want to take that you give me chance today my peace i give unto you it is not as the world gives amen so the world is giving a peace that is the peace which will not pass if you read uh, colossians chapter 3 verse 15 it says like this and the peace of god rule in your hearts to the to which you have been you have been called in one body amen so it says like the peace of heart peace of god shall rule your hearts amen yeah. so we live in united kingdom or ireland whatever it is ireland or united kingdom <coughs> So there is a there is a king in the United Kingdom. Same way, we have a kingdom which will not perish. We are looking for forward for that come. The first step is that he bring that kingdom in your life, and the king is Jesus. Amen. In that kingdom, you will have the peace, despite of your problems, despite of your troubles, whatever you are going through, you will have you will have peace. As the Bible says, this is what you are called to have the peace. Yes. for the kingdom of yeah the peace of god rule your hearts that's where the problem comes sometimes when things go not in the way we want that's where somebody else will rule amen we don't want a third person to rule your life we want only one person to rule our life that is the peace that is jesus when god rules he will lead you in the right way amen when he opens a door no one can close it and when he shuts the door no one can open it Amen. and believe it by faith my brothers and my sisters yeah. this morning i believe that this church will be used for the revival this church will be used for the kingdom of god oh, if right. one person in this church take this and say well i am going to do this by faith you will see the big queues coming into the church because these days the whole authority is given to the church but we are not realizing the power you have in you as our paul says to timothy you have not received the spirit of fear but i have received the spirit of power and sound mind yes. the power is in me the power is in the church the yes. power is in the body of the christ which is the church amen so church is not a sunday activity where you come two hours and sit in the church before you come to the church you put your chicken in the oven for two hours and that church is the place for two hours for the oven to be cooked for the chicken to be cooked no i've seen people saying we need to finish by quarter past 12 or half 12 why the chicken is in the oven <laughs> no no on the day of pentecost they gathered there they listened to the holy spirit they were moved with the power of god amen, amen. when you come to church you need to see great things happening in your life and also in the nation amen, amen. then you cannot do anything when the spirit will lead prayer will go you know what when, when the power comes you see people coming into the people will be attracted into the church as a magnet as a, attracts the iron you will see people coming into the church church is a place of deliverance church is a place of healing church is a place of where people comes together and say yes this is what it is church is not a club i mean these days we have to change our thinking god is not looking into your actions but he is looking into the intention behind your action can i ask you one question why are you here today why am i here today 
God doesn't count me preaching here. God doesn't count me coming here. But he will count my intention behind me coming here. My intention is only just to say that Jesus is there for you. Amen. He is with you. And he will be with you till the end of the age. Amen. Amen. Praise you, Lord. Before I close, can I tell you something, my brothers and my sisters? Church, we have to get up. We have to forget about ourselves. Forget about our worries. Forget about our tensions. Forget about our difficulties and just say, Jesus, you have been called. That's what, when, that's what Paul says in Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. He says it like this. Being confident of the very, very one thing. The one who has started a good work in me. Yes. He will keep me till Hallelujah. the day of the Christ. Yes. Amen. Yes. He has started the good work in you. Yes. The good work is he has given you the power to know him. He, the good work is he has given, he has come into your heart. He is with you. Amen. Mm. You need to realize that the spirit of the God dwells in me. You are the temple of the living God. So you have been called to carry out that blessing. But enjoy that blessing. Amen. Amen. How many of you want to do that? How many of you believe it by faith? I have seen some, some faces which I already know. They are doing this. When you start doing that, you know what? Your worries will go away. Everything will go. But you cannot hold to this. I heard people saying like this. My headache is still there. If it is your headache, that will be there. <laughs> you need to say, my God is there for me. Hallelujah. Not my headache. Amen. Amen. You cannot hold to say, my headache. <laughs> Last more. Amen. One day a lady came and told us, can you pray for my headache? I said, no, I won't pray for your headache. Why? The headache is not yours. The devil comes to steal and to destroy. I have come to give you a life and life in abundance. Amen. John 10, 10. I have come to give you a life and life in abundance. Amen. You couldn't you should be holding to say that it's my headache. My problem, my fear. No. No. When God comes in you, my peace, the peace of God, which passes all human understanding is in you. Amen. Perseverance and the peace of God, which rules in your hearts, to which you have been called. If you read Romans 14, 17, for the kingdom of God is not, God is not being untrue, but it is righteousness, peace and joy. So the kingdom of God is number one, it is righteousness, peace and joy. Amen. So God wants us to take that in your life. God wants to take this peace in your life. You know what? We can only sell something which we can have. We can only market something which we can have. If I say, I, I have a kebab shop, and I say, for everybody come to my shop, for having kebab, and there will be a variety of kebabs for you, and I sit at home and sleep, and I don't have a shop, will I be able to sell? No. The same way, I'm saying, Jesus is peace, God is peace, come to me, but I need to enjoy that peace in my life. First, you have to enjoy that peace in your life. Yeah. Once you enjoy that peace in your life, you can give that peace to others. Yes. When you are the light of the world. John chapter 1, verse 7 says like this, the darkness cannot comprehend the light in you. Amen. So whatever darkness you are going through, whatever situations you are going through, this light will Take away. If you turn off the lights in here, the darkness will come in here. But when the light comes, the darkness is totally away. So you are the light of the world. The light which is Jesus has come into your life. Amen. Before I end, I will read one more verse which is from Philippians chapter 6, uh, chapter 4, verse 6. Do not be anxious about anything. Do not, do not, do not be anxious about anything. In everything, prayer and supplication, let your needs known to God. When you know to God, says the peace of God, which passes all human understanding, Amen. will keep your heart and mind through Jesus Christ. Amen. So this morning, God wants to give you that peace. God wants to keep your hearts. I have people say, have problems. Yes. But when you have that peace, He will keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Yes. Everything, when whatever storms comes in your life, just take it by faith and say, you are there for me. You know what? When Jesus was going into, in, in, into the ship, the ship was going to wreck. He didn't shout hallelujah there, but he slept peacefully there. Yeah. And he said, calm down. You can cast out any storm in your life. You 
can take any worries in your life you can cast anything in your life with the power of god in you so i'm going back to the very first verse which we read this morning how do you know that god is with you you know that god is with you with through the power, through the holy spirit which he has given unto you amen these days i am going to tell you something i am going to prophesy something to the church we do realize the power of holy spirit when when we when things go wrong we say god help me when you then you will see the power of holy spirit moving but now god is going to show his presence every fraction of a second in your life do you believe when you put a step you will say go this way when you sleep you say i am with you this is the life and the life in abundance and the life of peace which god has given to you so this morning church this is not a place of comfort but this is a place of deliverance this is a place of fire this is a place of light where the nation to be saved amen amen our forefathers have gave their life to the nation there are many missionaries are laid their life for this gospel now we are enjoying the fruits of their labor but god has called you for a purpose he has called you from the darkness into the light to proclaim the gospel that jesus is there for you amen Amen. Before we close, can we all stand in the presence of the Lord? How many of you want that God in your life? How many of you want to cast out your fears? How many of you want to lead a life of Jesus? Amen. Can we all together sing this morning? What a friend we have in Jesus. He is our friend this morning. He is he, he can you can say you can come to him and come to the throne of grace any time you want. Jesus. And you can say to him your needs. You can say to your brothers, he's your best friend. Just say to yourself, I'm not alone. I have God. If God be for us, who can be against us? And the one in me is greater than the one in this world. Amen. Can we all lift the name of Jesus? Can we all praise him for one minute? And can we all sing together? What a friend we have in Jesus. I will never be ashamed. Amen. Jesus says he wants to come into your life church how many of you want to give your life to Jesus it should be a a, a resubmission in your life the power of god is moving glorify your name lord bless everyone everyone this is your time between you and your father
for touching your children father what a war is happening give into the hands of the lord this morning and free yourself thank you lord yes give it in your hands this is my confidence in him yes this is our confidence in him church that if you ask anything according to his will he will hear my prayers he will hear our prayers he will hear our petitions and he will answer your prayers yes talk to him talk to him this is our confidence that he hears us he answers us and he is there for us let your power be filled in this place let your anointing break every bondage for our weapons are not carnal but our weapon which is the holy spirit can break any strongholds any chains any weapons let your people be released for somebody has come here this morning just to see what's going on but god telling you my brother this is your day this is your day this is your day give your life to jesus he wants to change your destiny the rest of your life is going to be blessed the best decision in your life is giving your life to jesus can talk to him right now and say father come into my life i need you i want you and the hope that i will be with you till the end of the age all power all authority is given to me in heaven and earth jesus jesus well thank you for giving that revelation that you are in control of everything father when you are in control we don't need to worry about anything praise you this morning i pray for every one of you right now father those who come here to worship you or those who come here with their problems any sickness any worries give them the hope that you are there for them father yes you are there for you my sister he is there for you 
let your anointing touch them hallelujah let the holy spirit fill them and break every bondage in their life i pray for this church let this church be used thank you for using them mightily for the kingdom of god all we need more souls we pray for this belfast north belfast let this nation see the god see the lord but thank you for using this church using the leadership using the pastor using every one of your father to proclaim the good news that jesus is alive as we pray together we bless them and thank you for establishing their boundaries as we say we are not worried about anything we are not anxious about anything we know that your peace which passes all human understanding which is filled in our hearts and in mind through Christ Jesus we bless this church and we bless every one of you right now father in the name of jesus we pray amen amen, amen. bless you and bless you praise god praise you lord yes lord bless be your name